Hello everyone, uh, let us see about binomial theorem. For a n negative integer n that x plus y n expanded using a combination so that combination of n0 x raised to n plus combination of n1 x raised to n minus 1 y plus combination of n2 x raised to n minus 2 y square and so on then plus in the last combination of n n y raised to n so using this binomial theorem we can expand the given expression for instance expand expand this expression which one x plus y raised to pi using this binomial theorem x plus y raised to 5 it's equal to combination of 5 0 x raised to 5 plus combination of 5 1 x raised to 4 y plus combination of 5 2 x raised to 3 y square plus combination of 5 3 x square y cube plus combination of 5 4 x y raised to 4 plus combination of 5 5 y raised to 5 according to d theorem so we easily we can expand this one so instead of 5 times we multiply x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x plus y instead of that one we can use this one okay how to substitute is the combinations let us find the combination values here the combination of 5 0 and the combination of 5 5 are equal that is what one so that here we have x raised to 5 plus let us calculate the combination of 5 1 that combination of 5 1 equal to 5 factorial over 5 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial then it's equal to that 5 factorial means 5 times let me stand here 5 4 factorial over here we have 5 minus 1 which is 4 factorial and 1 factorial so that here 4 factorial cancel out by 4 factorial so we have only here what 5 so this one is a coefficient for x raised to 4 y so here say that 5 x raised to 4 y plus again for this one let us find the combination of 5 2 combination of 5 2 that means 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial 2 factorial equal to 5 times this 5 factorial is 4 times 3 factorial over why not this uh, stop in 3 factorial here we have in the denominator 5 minus 2 is which is 3 factorial here then 2 factorial means which is 2 times 1 then 3 factorial cancel out by 3 factorial so here by 2 1 by 2 2 5 times 2 is what which is 10 this is the coefficient of x cube y square so here we say that 10 x cube y square plus for x square y cube this its coefficient is combination of 5 3 combination of 5 3 let us try here 
combination of 5, 3, it's equal to 5 factorial over the same what? 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial in the denominator. So it's equal to 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over here we have 5 minus 3 is 2 factorial. 2 factorial means 2 times 1 times here we have 3 factorial. Don't expand this one. Since what here cancel out here 3 factorial by 3 factorial. So by 2 here 1, by 2 this one is 2. So 5 times 2 is what? 10. So what is the x coefficient for x squared y cube? Which is 10. So here we have 10 x squared y cube plus come to again the combination of 5 4 5 4 for what for x y raised to 4 variable terms okay then from this we have 5 factorial over 5 minus 4 factorial 4 factorial okay we see equal to 5 times 4 factorial over here 5 minus 4 is 1 factorial here you have 4 factorial. This 4 factorial comes out by 4. This over 1. 5 over 1 is, 1 is what? Which is 5. So it is a coefficient of x raised to 4. x, y raised to 4 coefficient is 5. 5, x, y raised to 4. Plus combination of 5, 5 is also 1. So it is y raised to 5. So this one is the expansion of for what? x plus y raised to 5 for how many times by using this the binomial theorem using the combination so that is it about this expansion okay let us see another example to further take this one expand 2x minus y raised to 3 multiply this one three times so using this binomial theorem this 2x minus y, the whole cubed, equal to combination of 3, 0, 2x, the whole cubed. Check here, instead of x, both with the coefficient. Plus, combination of 3, 1, 2x squared, minus 1 means that one, and take the second variable, which is negative y take with the negative the coefficient plus combination of 3 to 2x only raised to 1 that means for minus y raised to 2 plus the last one combination of 3 3 combination of 3 3 for minus y the whole cubed Okay, don't forget this combination of 3, 0 and combination of 3, 3 is equal to 1. Please, students, combination of n, 0 and combination of n, n for n negative integer, it's always equal to 1. To sing this one, let us see this one. n factorial over n minus 0 factorial over 0 factorial, this n factorial over 0, n minus 0 is n factorial. 0 factorial is 1, according to the definition. So n factorial over n factorial is what? 1. So that this n0 and n are equal. So because of that, easily take this what? Combination of 3, 0 and combination of 3, 3 are 1. Okay? So this one is 1. 1 times. Here, 2x cubed means 2 cubed is x. x cubed plus. Let us find combination of 3, 1. Let us calculate this one. Combination of 3, 1 means what? 3 factorial over 3 minus 1 factorial, 1 factorial, equal to 3 times 2 factorial over here 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial times 1. Here 2 factorial by 2 factorial, so here we have what? 3. Then this combination of 3, 1 is? 3. Here 2x squared is which is 4x squared. Don't forget 
and here we have negative one then plus combination of three two by the way combination of three two and combination of three one have the same value okay let us see three factorial over three minus two factorial two factorial this is equal to three times two factorial for the above the numerator one here three minus two is one factorial so here we have two factorial two factorial by two so the result is three the same value okay also here combination of three two is also three two raised to one is two x then his minus y square is positive y square the negative square is positive plus three three is one then this one is minus y cubed. Why not? Negative y. How many times? Three times. Okay, let us write the last result. Here, one times eight. Eight x cubed. Here, we have three times four times negative one is negative 12 x square y. Here, again, three times two, six plus six x y square. The last one times negative is negative y cube so this one is all about the expansion for this 2x minus y raised to cubed so here's the coefficient of x cube is 8 the coefficient of x square y is negative 12 the coefficient of x y square is 6 the coefficient of y cubed is negative 1 okay let us see the last uh, application or example for the binomial theorem this one is the last one uh, what is the coefficient of x raised to 5 y cube in the expansion of what x plus y raised to 8 without expanding all terms by the way students don't forget here for the whole cubed we expand we have four terms raised to cubed raised to 5 we have six terms one two three four five six four raised to n terms we have n plus one terms what do you that here x plus y expand raised to eight times expanding so we have nine terms from nine terms this one is a one so without expanding all the terms or that nine terms directly we can find this the coefficient of x raised to five y cube easily using the combination what combination let us see the way without expanding the all what the combination of the sum of the two is what? 8. And take the exponent of the second variable, which is 3. That is a coefficient for this one. Solving this combination, so it is the coefficient of this one. Without expanding the so all values of this x plus y raised to 8. Let us see the way. So that 8, combination of 8, 3 means what? 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial. 3 factorial. So, which is equal to 8 factorial means 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Why? Here we have 8 minus 3 is 5 factorial. So, this 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. This 5 factorial cancel out by 5. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 cancel out by, by 6. So, 8 times 5 is 56 so which is the coefficient of this one without expanding is that not that is a way okay thank you for your watching and your listening to uh, the today's lesson so everyone new for this uh, uh, channel please subscribe like and share thank you for listening goodbye to learn mathematics do mathematics